Behind me is a very decorated tree. In the book of Genesis, we see in a garden, there is a tree of life in which Adam and Eve are to worship God. And its garden is almost as a temple in which they will serve their God and King and be rulers and reign with him. But they must obey him. However, you know the story, they don't obey him. And we go throughout the Bible and we see all types of stories, curses, blessings, good, the bad, and the ugly. We see that Christ goes to the cross and dies for us. And in the very last book, in the last chapter of Revelation, we see a tree reemerge. We see this picture, once again, of this tree of life, if you will, that comes flowing uh, out of heaven just like the river of life. And this tree symbolizes the work that God is doing in restoring creation, moving it to an end, of building his church. God did not forget about humanity, but continues to work in it. He sent his son to die for us. He established his church. He gives us hope of eternity, of that eternal city, that eternal stream, of that eternal tree that was once lost, now available to us in his new creation. Join me in it. Worship the Lord today. Have a blessed New Year.